Not good with guilt. <laughs> hey, Gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You live the life. <clears throat> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low rent would be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death, prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. All right, here we go again. And you look fine this day. Whenever you're ready, partner. Come! Oh, there. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat beating every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself, how I used to be, stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived it. Look, it's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can pull in that first wagon. How's it getting so close?
Now, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs>